More than £500 million a year is spent in Britain on boat sales. By the time these boats are 10 years old, six out of every 10 will be suffering from the condition known as osmosis. Much is understood about the cause and effect of osmosis and an assured effective treatment is now possible given the expertise, technology and materials available. An essential part of the effective treatment of osmosis is the removal of the gel coat below the waterline. The Osmosis Centre, a boatyard in the southwest of England, developed a specialist tool for this purpose and it has quickly superseded all previous methods. The gel plane provides a clean, fast and controllable method of gel coat removal which is recommended by the resin manufacturers as the ideal hull surface preparation for drying, fairing and recoating. The gel plane utilizes two blades and a rotating drum to cut the gel coat to an adjustable depth set by two nose plates. One nose plate is set level to the blade. And the other is set to the required depth of cut. The correct depth is achieved when the gel plane is just removing all of the gel coat and making a shallow cut into the softer laminate. In the arrangement shown, the machine will operate from left to right on the hull, although this can be reversed if preferred. The gel plane with the vacuum unit is self-contained and requires only an electrical supply for operation. The equipment is therefore convenient for both on-site and off-site contracts. The level nose plate must always be held on a cut surface, while the offset nose plate is always on an unmachined surface. Whilst peeling, it's recommended that a series of short strips are cut to avoid overreaching and repeated changes in body position. If consecutive strips are stepped, then following cuts can be picked up with the offset nose plate resting on an uncut surface. It's also important to limit the width of cut to approximately half the drum as this ensures a clean fast cut with minimum effort. On encountering skin fittings the technique is to peel around the area in the conventional manner and then to go back following the shape as closely as possible. The gel plane is based on a standard AEG motor and Bosch drum, so all the components that are periodically replaced are available locally from quality tool stockists. The blades are tungsten carbide, which are reversible so that both edges can be used. To change the blades, simply unlock and remove the offset nose plate, slacken the blade retaining grub screws, followed by the cap screws, allowing the blade to be removed. The blade can either be turned around or replaced as required. Refitting is the reverse of removal. On average, two to three pairs of blades will be used per boat. An experienced operator should be able to peel up to 10 square meters per hour, although this will depend on the particular boat. The gel plane will peel as easily on concave curves as on convex, and can also cut over the spray rails and chines of a motorboat.
This side of the boat is now being finished and is ready for pressure washing, drying and rebuilding. It's often useful to lightly sandblast the hull after peeling to open up the surface for drying and adhesion. It will also remove any deeper soft laminate. It's stressed, however, that the absolute minimum pressure, grit and time is used. At this stage, substantial savings have already been made compared with other methods of gel coat removal. However, due to the quality of finish that's been achieved, further time and materials will now be saved on filling and fairing the hull. The savings made by using the gel plane would repay the investment after only a few treatments. More and more yards worldwide are treating boats for osmosis and recognising the importance and viability of using the gel plane in this treatment. If you can also recognise the potential, then keep up with your competition and make the gel plane part of your specification.